keep that energy going for your next comic, Brody Long. having a hard time dating recently. It's been getting so bad that I thought changing my Tinder bio would help. Like it used to read, 25 year old single father. But that came across as way too desperate. So I changed it to 25 year old hardworking nanny. Because I want to come across as somebody that's going to love you, take care of you, and be there for you through sickness and in health. When in reality, I just want you to spit in my mouth, sir. <laughs> Actually, when I changed my Tinder bio, I noticed I could select the different types of people I was interested in. But when I hit that drop down menu, 72 different types of genders popped up. I'm desperate, so I hit all of the above. But when I did that, I realized something detrimental. I now have to learn how to sexually satisfy all 72 different types of genders. But I came up with a solution. If you take that number, 72, and you multiply it by the five seconds I last in bed, <laughs> you get 360 degrees of me still not knowing what the fuck I'm doing. That's my favorite joke, because I don't know what I'm doing during sex. Ladies and gentlemen, Memorial Day just passed, and 4th of July is coming up, which begs the question, do I have any veterans or active duty military in here tonight? Clap if you are. I hear one, I hear two. Hey, give it up for them, guys. Give it up for them. Whoever clapped over here, what military branch were you in? Army. You're in the Army? Hell yeah, brother. What over here? Marines. Marines? Okay, you guys have to go in the parking lot right now and fight, okay? <laughs> hey, man, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm also a Marine, so, like, you're outnumbered, all right? I'm just kidding. All those guys look like they fucking eat my left toe for breakfast, okay? I don't want to fuck with you. But I, I am a Marine Corps veteran, so give it up for me. I served four years in the Marine Corps, man, and during my four years, I honestly only learned two different things. Firstly, all Marines can adapt and overcome in any situation they are in. And secondly, all Marines are gay. <laughs> At least a little bit. I remember when I joined, everybody kept asking me the same question. They said, Brody, aren't you afraid you're going to get that PTSD when you get in. And of course, I was like, no, like that's just in the movies, right? Sure enough, one month of being in the Marine Corps, and I did get PTSD. Permission to suck dick. <laughs> My captain was lonely. I was looking for an early promotion, so I did what any good Marine would do, and I adapted and then made him come. Adapt and overcome, we catching up? Hell yeah, you guys are a fun crowd, man. When, since being out of the military, I always read articles just to keep up on it, and you know, I like to reminisce a little bit, and this article I read the other day had Tom Brady's name in it, and I was confused. I was like, how does a military and Tom Brady have anything in common. So I kept reading, and apparently he was doing an interview, and during that interview, he said something along the lines of, leaving my house and home to go play football is just like when our military members leave to go on deployments. Yeah. He pissed off the entire veteran community. But again, as a veteran, I agree with the man. 
Just like Tom Brady, when I went on my deployment and came back home, my wife left me also. <laughs> Thanks for clapping for my divorce, sir. I appreciate you. So you all join in? What in the hell? All right, I'll leave you this. I'll leave you with this one joke, okay? I do have a kid, and um, I don't know. Having a kid makes you think about your finances, at least for me. And I was reading another article the other day. I know, I don't look like I can read, but I can. And I was reading another article about finance. And it said, like, um, the way you spend your money today is a direct reflection of how your parents spent their money way back when, when you were growing up. And I read that, reminisced on it, and thought, fuck. Uh, that's correct. I mean, my mom spent money on my sister and clothes. My dad spent money on booze and women. So, of course, I spent my money on Planned Parenthood. Thank you, guys. My name has been Brody Long. Have a good rest of your night.